All right, going over the goblet box squat today. And although I have a bench, that will serve as a box. But if you have a box, you can use that too. How high of a box should you should use? I like roughly around here, like knee height or a little bit lower. Something that allows you to get your um, upper limbs or upper thighs to uh, around parallel to the floor. That's about right. I mean, th there's different, like you can play with a higher box and a lower box and that's fine. But as a standard rule, something close to where when you get down to the bottom of it, your thighs are close to around parallel to the ground. I'll go through it. The, the point of the box or the bench in this case is not to use it as a depth gauge. So there is a, like if I was teaching someone how to squat for the first time, I might use something to gauge their depth so they can come tap something so they understand what proper depth is. But in this case, the reason why we're using the bench or the box is actually to take away the momentum as we go down to the bottom so that we actually, with tension, and we're not like, we're not loosening up and just kind of sitting on the bench and then getting back up, we're getting down and this is a goblet, goblet box squat, going down to the bottom. And I'm going down just like, like I'm still kind of like tightened up right here, holding this tight. And it's like I've, I've killed my momentum on the way down and I'm just gonna come up, right back up. And you might be asking, what's the point of that? And the reason why we do it is because, for one, we can sit back a little bit and force a little bit more of the, um, more of the pressure onto our backside. So we take our quads out of it a little bit. If we want, we can actually sit back like this and really get our hamstrings and glutes involved. But the reason, a big reason why we do it is just so that once, once you're at the bottom of any movement, so you're bottom, bottom of a squat, bottom of a deadlift, bottom of a push up. If you don't like pause for a, like a brief second at the bottom of it and you just come to the bottom and push right up or if you come to the bottom of your squat and come right up, you're actually benefiting from the elastic properties of your, your tendons and ligaments and these types of things where of course the muscles are working but you're also getting almost a trampoline effect off of some of your connective tissues which isn't a bad thing but if we wanna focus more on the muscles which in a lot of cases we do, there's a, there's a time and place for both. The way to do it is either to add a pause at the bottom or you can take, you can use this bench right here and get to the bottom. Use this to kill your, use this to basically kill your momentum on the way down. So you're coming off it off of a pause and you're basically jumping out of your squat from a, a dead stop. So all the muscles are working in that case. And again, like I said, you can actually sit about a foot or something away from the bench and when we have a vertical shin, we're putting more on our glutes, you sit back and up like that. So you can actually you know, sit closer and be a little bit more upright, but you can step away and come, and that would be a little bit more loose. So the more vertical your shin, the more you're gonna hit the glutes and hamstrings, the more you let the knee come forward and angle this, torso, uh, angle this tibia or lower thigh bone, uh, the, more, uh, the more quad you'll get. So, I'm gonna demo that a couple more times. Just on the way down, knees spread out, typical goblet squat uh, technique. On the way down, I'm staying tight, I'm sitting here right now, everything's still ready to go. I'm coming right back to the top. So you're sitting down on it fully, but you're not losing tension and relaxing. So that is the goblet box squat. You can do it with double kettlebells, you can do it with a single kettlebell, you can do it with a bar on your back. This is just the goblet version. Um, they all work. It's the time and place for all of them. But usually program this for anywhere from three, three to four sets to six, eight, ten, ten reps. Don't usually go higher than that. And you use that with a straight up goblet squat. But um, great exercise for learning hip drive, strength through your hips and obviously working the glutes if you want to sit back a little bit more with a squat can be useful for if you have knee pain sitting back and using less of a less of a less of a bend this way which can put more more uh, more pressure on the knee and also just um, putting more pressure on the glutes so goblet box squat if you have any questions uh, leave one below or reach out and i uh, hope you like it